This video was sponsored by JLC PCB. So you may have seen my other video about this small, fully custom USB-C dock. I've got pretty far with it, but when assembling the newer versions, I found that this small USB-C connector right here is actually used to charge the main device, and not for the data as I initially thought. So I grabbed the last working board, which still has this connector, and now I will make a brand new version. I also found some missing traces, which can now be easily fixed. The biggest problem with this board, however, is that it requires a soldered USB cable. It's actually a huge pain to solder this. I think it would be way better to replace it with some regular USB-C connector. In the newer version of this board, I've replaced this whole connector with couple of solder pads. However, I won't be doing this for the new version, since it will be easier to test it with regular connector. I've soldered all of the parts to the old board, just to make sure it's fully working before I do modifications. This time I've made some notes in my schematic file, to make sure that I won't forget that this is in fact charger port, and not the data one. And here you can see the new version of this board. I've applied all of the modifications, and I am now ready to order. Ordering the boards is super easy. Once you have your design ready, you just open the JLC PCB CAM file, which will do all the work for you. You basically select the CAM file, choose the zip file name, and that's it. After the Gerber files are ready, you can order the physical boards. Now you can open the JLC PCB website and place an order. This part is super simple as well. You just click Add Gerber file, select your zip file, and wait a couple of seconds for it to upload. Here you can see the board preview and change any parameters you want. You can customize the board thickness, change solder mask color, or even add customized barcode with serial number. Once you're done with the changes, just click Save to Cart. Here you can select the shipping address and select the shipping method. After that, select Review before payment and submit order. The package as always arrived in about one week. Everything was safely packaged in a nice blue cardboard box. You can of course order multiple designs at once in order to save on shipping costs. This time I've ordered 5. And here is the board in its original package. I've marked it down so I don't actually forget what I'm making. The boards are of course super high quality. You can easily see all of the traces and the solder mask is perfectly visible. The solder pads are also silvered, which will help greatly with soldering process. So let's assemble the board now and see how it goes. Of course I start the process with ton of flags. It will make things easier later on. And now I will cover all of the pads with solder. The board is now pretty much ready for the component transfer. Just like in most cases, I will be using old parts for this build. The 0.2 board is working properly, so I know that the components are all right. So now I basically will transfer all of the components from one board to the another. I've did most of the soldering off screen since it's basically the same process as in my other videos. And now to actually test the board. I will be using the built-in USB-C cable which came with the original board. As you can see, both USB drive and HDMI port are working properly. I didn't solder the USB-C port, since it's basically only for charging the host device. So my biggest gripe with this board right now is that stupid USB-C cable. I absolutely hate soldering it each time, so I will now try to replace it with USB-C socket. I have this USB-C breakout board, which will make things way easier. The breakout board has all of the pins mapped out, so I can easily connect it to my PCB. It has some footprint issues, but I will fix them in the next one. So the idea is to connect both boards using really short Kinar wires. I'm testing only the voltage pins right now, just to make sure that the Kinar wires can handle it. And here is the full wiring. It was an absolute nightmare to solder everything. Right now I'm using regular USB-C cable for the data transfer. The flash drive of course works perfectly. So now let's try the HDMI. For this I will be using Rocket Max USB-C cable which can handle HDMI. Sadly this one didn't really work. So it's entirely possible that there might be some errors in my soldering. I will test it out with the original USB cable connected to the breakout board. I've tested all of the wires and it seems that it's connected properly. My SMD tester says that each wire goes to the correct pin. I've did all of the soldering once again and checked for any mistakes with magnifier glass. Everything seems to be ok. So again, quick test with the rocket cable and nothing actually changed. Ok, so maybe the issue is with the cable itself. 
I will now try connecting both pieces of this cable together. After that I will just hope I won't blow up my device. Everything is now soldered together. I've connected all of the cable wires with the same color. So now let's see if it works. The flash drive is working properly, which is great. So let's connect the HDMI now. So HDMI is now connected and I've got black screen on my ROG Ally. But the external display is working now. I've unplugged the cable and plugged it back in and now everything is working perfectly. So I tried the Rocket Max cable once again, but it still doesn't really work. I've connected back the makeshift cable and it still works properly. So what's up with that? I've decided to buy real USB-C cable, which supports video output. I've connected everything together and the USB drive is working, but there is still no image on my display. I've took apart the original cable to make sure there is nothing fancy inside. It appears there is nothing. So the conclusion is, my board is fully functional but only with this weird dingy cable. Anyway that's all for today. Thanks for watching everyone and hope to see you in the next video. I will still continue to work on this project since I need it for my AR glasses. And as always huge thanks to my patrons. See you later and goodbye.